Okay guys, so this cigar has changed a little bit more. Pardon me. Not so much a flavor transition, but a body transition. It is it is definitely transitioned over to a fuller bodied cigar and a heavy medium to a light full strength cigar. I mean the flavors are still dark and rich. Pardon me, I'm still getting a lot of black coffee. Um a little bit of a black cherry sweetness in there. The pepper tingle has kind of come back in a little bit. Draw is still beautiful. Burn still pretty good. Ash is still pretty nice. So that's where I am on that. I'd like to just boring you with details of my life. Uh, with my puppy Willie. He's named after Willie Nelson. You see a country music theme there. I just, I don't like do uh, people who give their pets, especially dogs and cats, these little foo foo names like uh, Spot and Fido and Fluffy and Princess and Peaches and crap like that. I really like to give my animals human names because they have a lot of human attributes to them. So, you know, I always like to give them human names. I did that when I was working for the pony people, taking care of all those livestock. I saw so many babies born, and I was charged with naming a lot of them, and I would give them human names. <laughs> Excuse me. And talking about the country music theme, uh, we had a female potbelly pig that was extremely pregnant, and we could tell over her behavior over the last couple of days that she was ready to drop this litter. And I went outside one cold, cold, bitter cold winter morning in Texas. And when I say bitter cold in Texas, I mean like 10 degrees below freezing. I went outside to feed all these animals in the yard, and when I went in the barn, I see in a little pile of straw these three little piglets with no mother around, and I go looking around for the mother, and I knew who the mother was. I look out in the yard, and she's out there rooting around and milling with the other pigs and the little mini cows and the mini donkeys and a few mini horses and some turkeys and ducks and stuff, just minding her own business like it's a, it's a regular day, you know? Well, sometimes... And this was her first litter. So sometimes when they have their first litter, they don't know what to do. So they walk away from it. So she walked away from it. So I went inside and I, I you know, I told Miss Vertek, the, the head of the company, the wife of the, the couple, you know, that we had a couple of babies out there. What do we do? And she said, well, we can go and get, if you want to, we can go and get some stuff and try to bottle feed them. Otherwise, we'll just leave them out there and see if she takes care of them and, possibly pick up the bodies later well I picked up a lot of little little bitty baby bodies and I didn't want to do it and so I said let's go get some stuff so we went tractor supply and we got some colostrum and some milk replacement and we put them in a little sterilite tub and put them in a room with me and I bottle fed these guys about every hour hour and a half all three of them one at a time until they were you know two or three weeks old and then we moved them outside and I got really attached to these little guys and I named all three of them. They were all three of them were females and it took me a while, like it always does, to come up with names for them. It took me a couple of weeks, but I finally came up with names for all three of them. And again, I decided to name them after country singers. So we had Patsy for Patsy Klein, we had Dolly for Dolly Parton, and we had Loretta for Loretta Lynn, because those were three of my favorite female country singers when I was a kid. And so those names, everybody liked them, and they, they held firm. That's what their names were. So like I said, we moved them. After a couple of weeks of me bottle feeding them, we moved them outside, and I was giving them solid food. And I would still go out and bottle feed them, you know, every few hours. And I went out there one morning, and Patsy was dead. Don't know why. They were in a little old kennel by themselves. She just didn't make it. So we buried her. But Loretta and Dolly made it. And got to be full grown to where we couldn't carry them to the petting zoos anymore. But they started producing piglets that we take out to the petting zoos, which is one of the most popular of the petting zoo animals. And to this day, and this was five or six years ago, to this day, they're still producing piglets for those petting zoos. I don't work for those people anymore. I haven't seen Dolly and Loretta in years. But, I mean, we really got used to each other. They knew my voice. They knew my smell. Every time I came outside, they came to me. They followed me around, waiting for food, waiting for treats or, you know, a bottle or whatever. I really love those pigs. So that's a funny little story about the whole country music singer thing. I named a couple of other ponies after 
country music singers and whatnot, Western uh, television stars and whatnot. So and that's a pretty interesting little, little fact, I guess. I don't know. At this point, I'm just rambling, having stuff to talk about, because like I said, I'm just going to make a video and just kind of talk. And Basically, for me, kill time. And if you're still watching this, you're probably like me, you're lonely and bored, and so hopefully I'm hoping you kill some time, too, and you can hear some stories about somebody else's life or whatever while you get a cigar review, if you like cigar, so... Again, the cigar is performing beautifully. This is a medium to fuller-bodied cigar. So, for those of you that like those type of cigars, they're right up your alley. Uh, I said AJ Fernandez makes the milder blends. For those of you that like the milder blends, you can look up some of his milder blends. But he's known for his stouter blended cigars, which I like anyway. So, I mean, that's kind of right up my alley. Right about the first time I discovered these Reconquistas right here, which at that point was the most expensive and elegant cigar I had smoked. I discovered scotch. I never did really know what scotch was. I drank whiskey all my life, you know, cheap whiskey a lot of times. Never really knew anything about scotch. And so when I started smoking cigars, I thought, well, hell, I've got to switch over to scotch because that's what goes with cigars, right? So I started bring, drinking blended scotch like Johnny Walker and, and uh, Chivas Regal, which I still love those blends. That's, that's a poor man scotch. But then I kept hearing about single malt, and I'm like, what the hell is a single malt? What's the difference between single malt and, you know, a regular scotch or whatever? And so I finally bought a bottle of single malt, about shit my pants, because, I mean, $65, $70 for a 750 milliliter bottle of whiskey. I thought, wow. Wait until I took, you know, a few sips of it that I realized where that money went. You know, but before that, $65, 70 for a bottle of 750 milliliter bottle of whiskey. I thought, shit, I can get a gallon of Jack Daniels or Jim Beam for that. They're not the same. Bourbon and Scotch are not the same. They're both whiskeys, but they're they're not the same. So I enjoy Scotch, but I also enjoy a good bourbon every once in a while. And uh, they go really well with cigars, in my opinion. I'm not going to spend much more time on the cigar because I don't expect any more changes out of it. So, I mean, that's my thoughts. It's a, it's a darker flavored cigar. That pepperiness kicks up there in the beginning and hangs around for about two-thirds. Oh, also, I'm about an hour and 45 minutes into this thing. So, like I said, this is about a two-hour stick. So, if you like a fuller-bodied cigar and you have the time to sit down and enjoy one, you should get one of these if you can find them on special, especially, you know, for sale or something, uh, a discount or whatever. It's worth a shot to sit down and have one of these. Have somebody to talk to because you're going to have a lot of time to talk. That's why I'm doing a video because I don't have anybody to talk to. Sorry if I stumbled through this whole video talking and everything because it's, it's just weird for me to sit here and talk to it. Basically my reflection. But hopefully somebody out there watches this and enjoys it. And, you know, kills a little time by watching this video. But I'm going to end here pretty quick with this cigar. Flavor still no change, body still no change, medium to full body, rich dark black coffee and, and uh, pepper, some earth, and those kind of flavors, you know, so if you like that kind of cigar, then you should get one of these, you should check them out, you should check out some of A.J. Fernandez's other blends, he makes great cigars, um, and one other little note before I get off of here, because I've wasted enough of your time and bored you enough, is if you, uh, Watch my tarantula videos as well. I have two tarantulas, a juvenile green bottle blue and a uh, golden blue leg baboon sling. And I think both of them are in pre-molt right now. I know for sure that the golden blue leg is in pre-molt. But both of them rejected food today. And both of them have been webbing um, a lot heavier than they usually do. You know, GBB, they're known for webbing pretty heavy anyway. This one's not been a super doobie hit, super duper, excuse me, super duper heavy Weber, but it has been here the last couple of days, so I think here pretty soon I'll be doing an update video on the molts on those guys and showing you what they look like, and a little while later doing a, a feeding. Also, I told you, if you watch my transfer videos, that my sling is so small right now, I don't have any feeders big enough to feed it, but I have put some egg beds in my cricket 
uh, container and I've got some eggs incubating and I should have some of those in a few days. I'll probably give you an update on that. So then I will have live food to give to my sling so we can finally see it hunt. But other than that, I mean, basically that's all I've got. I hope I didn't bore any of you, any of you too much. Uh, you know, I just, I get bored and I get on here and I just vent basically. So I hope somebody, you know, can watch this and appreciate it. Uh, if, if you're watching it, if you're still watching it, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. Uh, if you have a comment, whether it's positive or negative, you enjoyed the video, let me know. If you didn't enjoy this kind of video, let me know. And I'll shut the hell up and not talk anymore and just get down to the meat and potatoes, the reviews and the updates, you know, 10, 15 minute videos. But if you enjoyed it, let me know. I might do some more later on and give you a few more little stories or whatever about my life. But that's all I've got right now. I'm going to finish this cigar off and I'm going to get ready to go to bed. Thanks for watching. God bless all y'all. God bless Texas and God bless the U.S.